I've been flying drones for years, and I've been able to see lots of amazing sights from up here. But I wanted to know more about what was down there. I live next to all this water, and I've never explored any of it. So a few months ago, I tied a rope to a GoPro and dropped it off the edge of a dock to see what was down there. I was amazed at how interesting it was. I decided I gotta build a submarine, but I wasn't sure where to start. After checking some other DIY sub builds, I found this company called Blue Robotics, which had this awesome sub for sale. Fortunately, they sell the individual parts for building your own and have extensive documentation. This was a huge help for me to get started, as I wouldn't have to try to reinvent the wheel. I could build something that already had extensive testing behind it. So anyway, I started building. So I had this idea that I would test the main electronics before finishing the propulsion. I strapped on some weights, about four pounds I think, and lowered it into the water. But the darn thing thought it was a boat, it just didn't want to sink. It wasn't a terribly successful test, but at least the sunset was nice. I guess I'll have to go back to the shop. This is my first real-world test of the sub. We were at a dock at about two meters of water, so if anything went terribly wrong, recovery wouldn't be too difficult. The water was surprisingly murky, but I was still able to see the bottom enough to navigate. Even though I couldn't see well, it was really exciting to discover what was at the bottom. Ooh, some golf balls. Everything seemed to be working well, and I stayed under for about 10 minutes. I decided to come back up to check to see if everything was okay. After pulling it up, though, I found that there were some leaks. I later found that the water was coming in through some of the motor wires, and they needed to be sealed even better.
So far, I'm really happy with it. It's been about three months since I started putting it together, and there have been some significant hurdles along the way, but I've learned a lot, which is really why I wanted to build it in the first place. There's still lots of testing and changes to make, and I hope to cover those in future videos, but for now, thanks for watching.